Hi guys, it's the Blender Animator here, back for another tutorial, which I haven't done in ages, so forgive me if I'm a bit rusty with all the talking. Okay, so if you wonder why I couldn't make a tutorial, one, I, I, I just lacked ideas, and two, well, I, I didn't have the time, and I was too busy playing War Thunder. <laughs> right then, uh, let's start off by making this. So. Today we're going to be using another mod not modifier, so we're not going to be using fluid or physics. Because, you know, it's the first time I've used something else for a while. Um, we're going to be using the uh, particle modifier to uh, do our animations um, today. And I've come up with another really inventive name for it, which is, um, I think it's Light Floor. So there you go, inventive name of the week. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a plane and si size it up uh, 16 times by clicking tab, S and 16. The reason I'm using it in edit mode is, well, it, it just, it's better because I don't like fiddling around with that in there. So let's click tab again and we've size, sized it up. And now we want to click the snap during transform button and move it over here so it's just in the edge of this, so the net thing. Right, after you've done that, pull this sort of thing out, uh, I can't remember what it's name I used to, and call it floor, floor, slash, ha, I can't spell particle, um, I don't want to embarrass myself by, uh, by spelling everything wrong. So I'm going to add a new particle system by clicking this little thing, which is particle, and then create, create a new one, and before we start, well, we can play it to see if it works. There we go, it's working. Uh, but before we can um, play on that, we need to create what what's going to be dropping, at, or well, or just staying up at the top, which is which is what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and create a cube, and this is going to be our sort of light particle. So let's move it all the way over here because you don't need to be able to see it, but it'll have to be in the scene and relatively easy to access. And click tab. And then S and Z and 3. After you've done that, click on tab. And it's important you do this in edit mode because if you don't, it'll just resize it at that point and go off your animation. Right, let's go ahead and call this um, a base. Uh, it's going to be our particle. Uh, and it's going to have a texture. Which is going to be basically light, so light, light, and we're going to enable preview and change this to emission and set a bluish color to it. Maybe a bit dark. There we go, that looks a bit better. And let's click this and start up the particle simulation using this. So we're going to do this by change, going, going down to render and click object and select our particle. Particle, and now we can go ahead and click play, and you'll see lots of sort of of the mini miniature these just start to appear. And if you go into rendered mode, it will have this precise same texture as the one there. I might actually make another tutorial with like me doing something along the lines of just these falling down, which would look kind of cool. But um, at the moment, I'll just be doing it with these on top. And you can already see some on top, but this is not enough particles. We, we want more particles, so we can go ahead and into our particle uh, and change it to, I don't know, 18,000, 10,000? That looks about right. And we don't really need to fiddle with any of these since our actual animation, we need to record only like 10, 10 um, Frames. So now you should be able to just move it around and find a place you like. Um, and before you do that, make a camera so you can find a bit of the place you like better, so it's, you like it more, basically. So click Shift F and um, just move this back so I can actually see where the camera is. And just move it down. Q again. E. 
Particles, really. Yeah, I think we need more particles for the system. So I change it up from 10,000 to 15,000. And it will do that. And then you can just click play. And you'll see them all sort of do something. Uh, play and just stop it where you think it looks nice. That doesn't look bad. So I'm going to go into render mode and see how it looks. Okay, happy enough with that. And I want the background to be a bit dark, so I'm going to change the node, uh, node go into node editor and change the background a bit so it's a bit dark. Sort of dusk light. That looks about right. Okay. And um, now we want to sort of actually just leave it like there, it won't matter that much. Uh, just make a mental note and what frame you are. Okay, so you move. Now let's go ahead and to go into our render presets and change this up to 100 in the resolution and keep that the same. Obviously, compression since we're just doing a background, we want that onto max and 16, type 16 bits cut. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we don't want to edit with play around with this um, motion blur. Uh, we want to play around with sampling and change this up to 2000. Works for 2000, and you'll be like, hang on a second, isn't 2000 really massive? It is, but it doesn't take very long to load in this type of scene because it's all got lights and diffusers, which is not much, and not much else. And after you've done that, you can just go ahead and do a test render and stop it because you worked out you missed something. So change it to GPU. Uh, so it actually works fast and go into performance and change it to the uh, 156, change it to the tile size which GPUs are good at. I recommend 256 but it varies with GPU and well pretty much anything. Just find your best one. Now you want to click render again and it will slowly render out your image quite slowly. There we go. Uh, the reason we want to render out quite slowly, uh, well, not slowly, but high samples, is we're going to add a denoiser here. And that will mess up if we don't have a high amount of samples. So that's why we're going to do that. So we're going to add the denoising thing here and go into the 3D view panel and go back into this. So actually, just go, you can do it in the 3D panel. Doesn't make much difference. We haven't got any. Um, Objects and we want to add a um, depth field. So let's stop our render here and actually go back into the row and go back and then just add distance. So it's going to be a depth field of 0 0.02, which is nice for the sort of image, and everything will just go black. And you want to now move your distance up until you get a nice render. Up. And just trying to make it look a bit like mushrooms here. Uh, that does look really nice. Um, change this from 0 0.02 to 0 0.01. And uh, 0.01.5. There we go. That looks quite cool. Maybe a bit overkill. 0 0.01. There we go. Now we've done that, I think we're pretty much ready. So file save this, obviously. And Put this in uh, your Blender folder. I do recommend getting a Blender folder quite a lot. It's so helpful. And add another sort of package, so file uh, called old, and um, yeah, and compress it. So basically, after you've got your old Blender files, you can still access them. Because if they have something you want, you can. Then it just really helps you. Um, and because they're compressed, they don't take as much, as much storage. Okay, so, so basically build, ar build an archive. I'm going to call this, okay, let's call this uh, Lightfall. Fly, light, 
Explore. Start right. Same as Blender file. Should save reasonably quickly. And let's change this from to 24. There we go. And then and let's start 24. There we go. So we're rendering only one frame, which is going to be good when we output our render, which will also be in Blender. White floor, and I'm going to call this uh, render. Render. And let's accept that. And we're pretty much done with that. I'm just going to check that I haven't missed anything out. Go into render. And I think that looks quite nice. So thank you everybody who has been watching this video. Um, not very long, I don't know, 10 minutes-ish, probably, probably five. Um, I hope to start making more videos after the break from now because I've got a new inspiration for this new modifier. Well, not modifier, but uh, assistant. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you would enjoy. Uh, hope you watched the whole thing. And thank you for the view. I'll see you again next time.